Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to show you what it looks like when you have a Starlink router. Now a lot of people who are off-grid out in the country um, somewhere where they can't get regular internet service are doing satellite um, and there are ways that you can do satellite uh, well. You can actually hardwire it even though it's coming from the satellite you can hardwire your router to your devices which I highly recommend. Uh, but Starlink is very, very popular right now. And so I want to show you an interesting thing that I found in my client's home today. Okay, so I am in a very beautiful log cabin in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And my client has Starlink service. I actually have it covered right now because I've been working pretty close to it. Uh, but this is the router right here. And then this is what I found as far as the dirty electricity from the router. Now, um, I had to go through a series of um, trial and error to figure out where this was coming from, but I narrowed it down to the router. So I'm gonna unplug the router and we're gonna see what I get. So I gotta get behind that couch to get it unplugged, so hang tight. There you are. So clearly coming from the router itself, and that was very extremely high levels of dirty electricity. This is what we want our sine wave to look like. I don't like that spiking that I'm seeing there, uh, but I'm gonna deal with that separately. Um, so clearly a huge EMF issue here with the Starlink router, not only from the radio frequency, but also from the dirty electricity. So I am gonna put a filter next to the router and see if that does anything. So let's plug it back in. Wow, and there it is. Um, so I've got three volts, and that looks really ugly. All right, I just plugged in a green wave filter, and um, it is the router's plugged in, and this is what we're getting. So it looks great. Um, actually, that did a good job. Now I'm going to go check the rest of the outlets in the house to make sure that they are also okay with this. Uh, sometimes when you plug in filters, you got to check the rest of the outlets because it can cause an up or downstream effect that you don't want. Um, but assuming that this all goes well, I'm pretty happy that that worked. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are working on actually hardwiring the... Um, the internet. So even though it has to come in from radio frequency with Starlink because that's the only option they give you, we are actually going to use some Netgear adapters to get an Ethernet cord to our devices so that we and then keep the router covered with shielding cloth so that we can reduce our radio frequency. All right, and that's it. So hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please leave them below. I'm happy to talk with you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.